Welcome to a series of crazy, death-defying, stunning stunts. You're watching Crash Remakes. Renea shunted some freight cars gently together. But Skarloey was too excited to be careful. The narrow gauge controller was cross. Reneas and Scarloe, you are not careful engines, Mr. Percival said. I will have to choose two other engines to collect the dinosaur. Then Henry looked up and saw Cranky. Cranky was very tall. But Henry didn't see the flagpole. It was on the flatbed in front of him. It rolled onto the track. Oops, sorry, matey, called Salty. I didn't expect to see the flagpole down there, puffed Henry. It's not tall when you lay it down, matey, said Salty. Henry felt very silly. Wind and rain buffeted Edward. His sanding gear failed, and his firemen rode in front, dropping sand on the rails by hand. Suddenly, Edward's wheels slipped fiercely, and with a shrieking crack, something broke. The crew inspected the damage. Repairs took some time. One of your crank pins broke, Edward, said his driver. We've taken your side rods off. Now you're like an old-fashioned engine. Can you get these people home? They must start back tonight. I'll try, sir, promised Edward. Edward puffed and pulled his hardest, but his wheels kept slipping and he could not start the heavy train. Soon Thomas was on his way to pick up the workers at the new station. Difficult bend, difficult bend, he puffed nervously. The difficult bend came nearer and nearer. Thomas was supposed to slow down, but he wanted to get past the bend quickly. So Thomas went faster and faster. The coaches rattled and shook. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas said to himself. And soon it was. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. If you'd also like, please share it with your friends. And I will see you all next time.